What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a couple different phone holder options for your car or truck. More specifically, I want to talk about why I went with this option from ProClip. And we're going to put it on my truck and see how I like it. So let's get going. Now real quick guys, if you've never been to my channel before, my name's Paul and I like to make truck related videos. Now I currently drive this pretty little thing right here. That's my 2013 F-150 5 liter FX4. So if you guys are interested in seeing more videos about how I've modified my truck and the different ownership experiences I've had with it, like the video and subscribe for more. All right guys, welcome to the inside of my truck. Now you can see right down here, anytime I use my phone in the car, this is normally what I'm doing with it. I just have to put it in one of the cup holders. Obviously that's not the best location if you're actually trying to use it for navigation while going down the road. So I was really looking for something that kept it more in line with the dash. I didn't really want to block any sight line. And ideally I wanted it to be mounted somewhere here around the center console area. That way it was close to all my other controls and it just kind of made sense. Now if you're looking for a cell phone mount for your car or truck, you've got two traditional options. You're going to have one that mounts with a suction cup somewhere to your windshield. Or you'll have another option that'll clip on usually to your air vents. Now the reasons I didn't want either of those options is for one, my windshield is still kind of far away from the driver's seat. I still wanted to be able to operate my phone. And number two, I didn't want to use one of the options that blocks the vents because I actually use my AC and my heater a lot. Now I will give a quick disclaimer. There are a lot of cell phone options on there. If you go on Amazon, you can find some pretty well rated ones for 10 or 20 bucks. The stuff I got from ProClip, again, it's two separate pieces, but I believe it was about 70 bucks altogether. Now, obviously they claim it's a pretty quality piece, but I guess we'll just have to open it up and see. All right guys, so we did get the mounting plate on. It was a little finicky. I didn't realize this was gonna come in two pieces. This front plate is actually separate from the back piece that slides in between this air vent panel and your dashboard. The instructions say to put them on separately, but I actually found it easier to go ahead and screw them together and then just kind of hammer it in there. But now we're gonna adjust the little phone mount. It comes with instructions on how to size it for your actual device. So we're gonna do that and see what the final product looks like. All right guys, so this is the final install. You can see the cell phone mounting plate is installed now. It's all secured to the dash. And the cell phone itself should just slide kind of right in the top here. It's just kind of held in with some little grooves that are on the sides of these little black pieces here. I originally thought it was going to be one of the pieces that kind of clamps onto the side of your phone, but apparently not. But once you adjust it to the, the size of your device, it seems to hold on pretty well. Now I do want to say a few things for those of you that might actually be interested in buying this specific ProClip uh, type of mounting solution. Now I don't know if this is just the specific model for my truck. And guys, I'll, I'll post links in the description for the, the actual items that I bought. That way if any of you guys that do have F-150s like mine and you're interested in this, you can go check it out yourself. I'm not an affiliate. I don't get anything if you buy anything from ProClip. I just want to make sure if you guys do buy from them that you get the right thing. I did want to say that some of the screws are kind of finicky. Behind this mounting plate, there's an additional four screws that mount to the main bracket that clips under the dash. Now you guys have to be very careful with those little screws because they started stripping as soon as I started tightening them. I was able to get them tight enough so this thing's not rattling, but honestly for a product that cost me $70, I expected hardware a little stronger than that. You actually had to use this little tiny screwdriver just to tighten those screws. Now overall the mount seems solid enough, but you know, the price, it, it's definitely on the steep side. Like I said, on Amazon, most other phone mounts that you see are 10, 20 bucks at most. So this is three or four times that cost. Now we'll see how this thing holds up over time. You know, I do like the mounting position of my phone. Like I said, when I'm driving, I can still reach it if I need to. It's not blocking my vent. And as I'm driving, obviously I can still see the road, take a quick look at the screen and then keep on driving. So guys, let me know what you think of this uh, ProClip phone mount. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys did to mount phones in your cars or trucks. 
and maybe we can help each other figure out what's best. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, remember to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care.